Welcome to Tangling Along With Me. We are continuing on TanglePatterns.com and today it is this pattern that we're going to do. So let's open up the book and find a place for this one. Um, I think I'm going to take uh, this space right here. In here. So this one is kind of a... It's kind of a grid. But then again not. I'm going to make a circle and around a finger's white with and then another circle or warp and so on down there. And then I am actually using around a finger's width and doing the circles. So we have kind of a square with the circles and so on and so on the more space you have. In the middle of these circles, or warps, I am placing yet another one. So now your page look like this, and maybe even bigger. And then from one orb to the next orb, I am kind of making this teardrop. And it's kind of hitting the next orb. Starting on one orb and hitting the next. Taking off one and landing on the next one. So I would have one up here coming down. Like that. This one would go down. Come up over here. So again taking off one drop and landing on the same drop hitting the next one so it's quite simple and then we can go back in here and make these up a little bigger and more bold leaving the center white but this one in case you did not hit uh, the teardrop onto the orb doesn't matter because we are now definitely connecting it together with making this orb a tiny bit bigger Actually, I would have one coming down there. Doing it here as well. This one. Just one at a time. And then we go into the inside of these teardrops and make an aura. And if you made your teardrops bigger, then you have more than enough room for the inside aura. And if you made them even bigger, then you could use this inside aura for another tangle. I kind of made my teardrops a little uh, elongate, elongated instead of bigger. They could easily have been filling a little more. So I have a lot of uh, rest space here in between my um, teardrop shape. So I'm just going in here and embellishing one of these rooms here with some small lines. This is not part of the tangle. This is just me making this look really really cohesive and nice personally i don't like too much of an open space where nothing is going on i like to fill it out with something 
and these small lines here are perfect for so many different things even if you need a background filler that you don't know what to do with uh, the shape might be really weird in the background then you can use these small lines or you could even make them into squares if you want to it's a very nice background filler And you can see I did that only in every second of these because uh, I think it will be too much if I do it in all of those, all of the spaces. Um, I'm using my brown uh, pigment brush here. Again, you can use whatever color you want to. And I'm going in here and filling out again every second row the center here of these teardrop shapes not that one but here and the last little piece there and pop my cap on I'm going to my white uh, charcoal and I'm just gonna pop in a nice amount of the white here at the top of these uh, these inside teardrops to give them a little uh, interest as well. I like that. Um, I want some white jelly roll in there, so I'm using my white jelly roll 08, making sure it's working. And in each of these um, orbs here, I'm just gonna place a white orb in the middle instead of the gray orb we have right now. And just to brighten it up a tiny bit. There we go, pop the cap on, taking my uh, graphite and around the ones with the brown here I am just gonna pop in um, some graphite here along the pattern. Using my touchy down to soften that out. Careful that I don't touch the white jelly roll so that I don't smush, smush that out on my page. We really don't want that. And there we go, it's done. I really like this pattern, it's really nice and uh, very uh, easy to do. Nice pattern, it was this one. I had a lot of fun with this and I hope you will try it out in different ways. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.